often gaze into the night sky with awe, marveling at its beauty, but hidden within this darkness are countless man-made and natural objects silently orbiting above us. While most are harmlessly drifting, others pose a terrifying risk. Today we're uncovering chilling true stories of dark space objects that unexpectedly plunged, or could plunge, from the heavens, reminding us just how vulnerable we truly are beneath the vast expanse of space. In December 1982, a nuclear-powered Soviet spy satellite named Cosmos 1402 spiraled out of control after a failed maneuver. Loaded with 100 pounds of enriched uranium, this was no ordinary satellite. To give perspective, the Hiroshima bomb carried 141 pounds of uranium. Thankfully, the main debris crashed harmlessly into the Indian Ocean in January 1983. Smaller radioactive parts scattered into the South Atlantic. Although authorities claimed safety, radioactive strontium later appeared in rain samples, suggesting we narrowly escaped disaster. In 2011, China proudly launched its first ever space station, Tianyong-1, but by 2016, they'd lost control. As panic spread, experts predicted it would land anywhere from Australia to the US. In April 2018, after two years of uncertainty, the space station plunged into the Pacific Ocean near Tahiti. Although it missed populated areas, the anxiety surrounding its uncontrolled descent remains a chilling reminder of the power of space debris. In 1979, the massive American space station Skylab, weighing 77 tons, began its fiery descent to Earth. The uncertainty of its landing site caused global panic, prompting humorous Skylab protection helmet sails. People around the globe anxiously monitored its descent, fearing it could strike major cities. Ultimately, Skylab disintegrated over Australia, scattering debris across towns and farmlands. Miraculously, no one was hurt, but residents reported hearing loud sonic booms and seeing debris littered across roads and fields. Adding a touch of humor, the Australian town of Esperance amusingly fined NASA $400 for littering, a fine NASA jokingly ignored for decades. Ha ha ha, so funny. <laughs> Cosmos 482, launched by the USSR in 1972, spent over 50 years orbiting Earth before its death plunge became imminent in recent weeks. Initially intended for Venus, a launch failure trapped it around our planet instead. Now unpredictably falling towards Earth. It poses a minimal yet very real risk to populated areas, and scientists assure minimal damage, but uncertainty always lingers. So keep your eyes up. You never know what's falling from the sky in 2025. In 1978, Canada's remote wilderness became the unexpected target of Cosmos 954, another nuclear-powered Soviet spy satellite. Carrying a reactor filled with uranium, its fiery crash contaminated over over 124,000 square kilometers of Canadian tundra. Debris was scattered widely, and recovery teams worked tirelessly in harsh winter conditions, equipped with radiation detectors to locate radioactive fragments. An extensive cleanup operation cost millions of dollars, involved hundreds of personnel, and radiation warnings lingered for years, a very sobering reminder of nuclear satellites' dangers. In 1908, the Siberian sky exploded with a force a thousand times greater than the Hiroshima bomb. Known as the Tunguska event, this mysterious explosion flattened 830 square miles of forest, yet astonishingly left no crater. Eyewitnesses hundreds of miles away reported seeing a blinding flash of light, followed by an intense shock wave that knocked people off their feet and shattered windows. Scientists believe an asteroid or comet exploded mid-air, demonstrating how little warning we might receive if something similar happened today. That's terrifying to think about. Okay, moving on. In March 2021, residents in Oregon and Washington were treated to a spectacular yet alarming light show. What appeared as meteorites were in fact debris from SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket burning up upon re-entry. Although harmlessly landing in remote areas, it raises awareness about increasing space debris from commercial activities. In 2022, Australian farmers discovered a mysterious charred metallic sphere on their land. Initially feared extraterrestrial, authorities later identified it as space debris, likely 
a fuel tank from a foreign rocket. The object's unexpected landing sparked local curiosity and attracted international media attention, reigniting fears about the unpredictability of space debris striking populated areas. I personally thought the fear was because aliens were attacking. If I saw that thing, I'd be thinking aliens for sure. Authorities continue to investigate the exact origins of the space debris to better understand future risks, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Russia's MIR, the world's first modular space station, captured humanity's imagination from 1986 to 2001. However, its deorbiting was a nail-biting event, as a miscalculation could have scattered debris across densely populated areas. Global media closely followed the tense final hours with many nations on high alert. Thankfully, MER safely re-entered Earth's atmosphere, plunging dramatically into the Pacific Ocean, far from inhabited land. Yet the fear and anticipation it generated emphasized our vulnerability to space debris and the importance of precise calculations. That would be such a stressful job, being the people who calculate everything to make sure that things go smoothly. Like, it's so crazy how like a little bit of math and they're like, yeah, you'll swing around the moon. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, literally nobody would ever know what I'm talking about right now. In September 2011, NASA's Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite, weighing six tons, fell uncontrollably to Earth. Unable to pinpoint its exact landing spot, scientists issued warnings spanning multiple continents. Ultimately, debris landed harmlessly in the remote Pacific, narrowly missing populated areas, but reminding us once again how precariously close these events can get. Is it just like a party of space stuff in the Pacific Ocean? I feel like a lot of the things today have landed in the Pacific, and I wanna know what's going on in there now because of all of this. Anyway, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye.